Learn of Vision Pharmacology, Pharmacokinetics, Part 1, Introduction to ADME. The term pharmaco pertains to drugs and kinetics to movement or motion. Movement of the drug from the site of administration into systemic circulation is absorption. Movement into tissues within the body is distribution. Movement out of the body is excretion. Sometimes the structure of the drug has to be transformed in the body to facilitate this movement. Such a biotransformation is metabolism. This is the ADME of pharmacokinetics. With excretion, clearly the drug is moved out of the system. But even with metabolism, the original drug is no longer available since it has been transformed. Thus, metabolism or excretion can result in drug elimination. Now, the term pharmacon in ancient Greek referred to something with a dual nature. That is, it can be both a remedy and a harm. The pharmacologist wants the drug to be a remedy. He would wish that absorption is complete and consistent. Distribution is exclusively into target tissues. And once the desired effect is achieved, the drug be eliminated safely at the earliest. But the body's point of view is quite different. Its question is, does this molecule serve any physiological purpose? If the answer is yes, our bodies have established mechanisms to regulate its ADME. Glucose is such a molecule and examples for regulation of its ADME are shown here. But if the answer is no, that is, when the solute has no physiological function, the body treats it as foreign to the living system or a xenobiotic. Xeno for foreign and bios for life. By this definition, most drugs are xenobiotics. Since a xenobiotic is not part of normal physiology, the body assumes that it is likely to cause harm. With this perspective, the body will try to restrict its absorption and distribution while promoting its metabolism and excretion. For example, for an orally administered drug, common side effects include nausea, vomiting and diarrhea. With these, the body is trying to get the drug out of the gastrointestinal lumen. Why? To prevent the drug from crossing the intestinal epithelium. Even if the drug manages to cross the apical surface of the intestinal epithelium, efflux transporters can prevent its entry into portal circulation. A drug that enters the portal circulation can still be prevented from reaching the systemic circulation by elimination through hepatic metabolism. Even if it enters the systemic circulation, distribution into certain organs can still be prevented, for example, by blood-brain barrier. And of course, the excretory organs, especially the kidneys, will try its best to excrete the unchanged drug and its metabolites at the earliest. Thus, while a pharmacologist intends the drug to be a remedy, the body considers it as a xenobiotic. So, going forward, if we are mindful of both these perspectives, the discussions on ADME of pharmacokinetics should be easier. Here are some good to know facts. This is a summary of our discussion. In the next video, we will discuss absorption.